Friend, let's go to the former mayor of Shalom, Israel, David Rubin, on uh, how this all factors out, particularly if uh, we move our, our embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. Remember, this would, as Blake said, be years in the making, uh, but the, the die would be cast. Um, mayor, what do you think of the, all of this? Well, first of all, let me say that it's a bold move by the president. Uh, long overdue. Many presidents have spoken about it, and finally, President Trump had the courage to do it. And uh, I'm pleased to hear. All right. Well, as you know, some are not so pleased to hear it. So those uh, in Egypt and Germany and France, I could go on about Turkey now that is reassessing its relations with Israel as we speak because of this. What do you think? Well, I think that's actually quite absurd. I, Turkey hasn't been a friend of Israel's for many years. Uh, Erdogan, who is the president of Turkey, uh, is an Islamic radical, and he, he has not been a friend of Israel's for a long time. I wouldn't lose any sleep over that one. Um, uh, but, 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 but what as would far change, the, though, Mayor? What do you think changes now in terms of your country's relationship with uh, much of the Arab world, particularly countries that have uh, had tighter relations with you, including Egypt, including Jordan? What, what do you think? I don't think that anything is going to change, really. Uh, there'll be a bit of commotion. The, the, they'll have a few days of rage. Uh, you'll see some rioting. Uh, they'll be throwing rocks at our cars and uh, maybe even some shootings on the road. But uh, the, the bottom line is that it's in the Arab world's interest to have good covert relations with Israel, Saudi Arabia, some of the Persian Gulf countries. Egypt certainly will continue its cooperation on combating terrorism uh, that they're also concerned about. And, and I believe that Saudi Arabia will, uh, will continue its cooperation with Israel on the Iran issue. They're, they're more afraid of Iran than we are.